No. So the backlighting is horrible. So what are we doing? Uh, we are doing paint with a view. Um, it's a DVC exclusive event at uh, Top of the World Lounge at Bay Lake Tower. Um, I think it was like fifty dollars a person. Yep. Um, apparently it sold out very quickly. There's supposed to be, I think, 20 of us. Um, it includes snacks, so Jen got some cheese, crackers, and some fruit, um, and one alcoholic beverage or a soda. So um, I, I'm kind of already concerned because I see a ruler, so I'm going to mess up something because I can't draw straight. Even with a ruler. It should be fun filled and exciting. Yes, uh, it looks like we're doing Tree of Life thing here. So it'll be interesting to see what our final products look like. What did yep. you get to drink? I got an Angry Orchard. What did I get to drink? Uh, you got the. Fetzer Riesling? Fess, Fess Parker. Fess Parker. Riesling. Fetzer, Fess Parker, whatever. So there we go. He looks so serious. And then after this, we'll go to the uh, uh, expo to pick up my bib and her cheer squad stuff. Yep. All right. See you later. Bye. Did you quit? What? You got, you got, you got to paint your tree still. Mm -hmm. So we're doing the landscape. Mm -hmm. So we're going to paint that in and so we're going to put... Am I supposed to, am I working on my tree yet? Can I work on my tree? Who's going to stop you? What? Who's going to stop you? I don't know. I guess I should use this one. So remember I showed you guys how to make the palm trees? I did not. I didn't know. I got to make the palm trees. Mine look like broccoli. Palm trees? My, bro my palm trees look like broccoli. My tree of life looks like a big hole, it's like a broccoli. <laughs> well see, they'll be just little broccolis. <laughs> No pressure, but everybody's going to come over and smash right. So, these are terrible. Mm -hmm. This part is screwed up on the top, so it's screwed up on the bottom. They're consistent. Hey, too sway. Use the baby brush. 
Alright, so this is basically our take on the uh, painting with a view that we partook in on day one of our April trip. So, for those who aren't aware, painting with a view is a, a benefit, I guess, for DVC members who are staying on property. It takes place every Thursday. Uh, from what is it 1 to 3 p.m. it's uh, limit very limited seating at $50 a person and it's at top of the world lounge at the Bay Lake Towers you book this in advance uh, I think it's a hundred up to 180 days in advance they do sell it very quickly um, I think we were one of the first ones that they did and it sold out very very quickly yeah, and it seemed like maybe there was maybe 20 people yeah. with that. It, it's not that big of a group, so. <laughs> Anyways, so what are your thoughts? Um, it was okay. The instructor, because she's dealing with a very diverse group, and I think it's partially the way we were spread out, um... And I don't know how many of these things she's taught, um, but sometimes the instruction seemed to be a little scattered. Um, and I don't know if just because some people were painting a little faster or they were working, because she would talk about one thing and then I don't know if because people were already ready to move on or what was going on and she would talk about another or she, you know, just decide like, she was talking about, okay, we're going to do this. And then, you know what, it's because you're going to do this. Oh, when you do this, you're going to do this sort of thing. So sometimes she would go off on that tangent, but you weren't quite there yet. And sometimes she didn't always quite go back to what it was. So, yeah. So by the time this came around, um, <clears throat> I was already starting to feel the effects of the no sleep for uh, over 24 hours. I think by the time we got there, I was hitting around 28, 29, maybe 30 hours of no sleep. I wasn't having it. I just wasn't, I didn't have the patience for her flightiness, I guess you would say. Um, scatterbrain, whatever you want to call it. I just wasn't in the mood for it. So I got to a point and I was just frustrated. I was exhausted and just didn't want to deal with her anymore. So I just flipped my board over and just, and she's like, no, no, no. And I'm like going, and it took two of us to say, no, really. He's done, he's fine. It's okay, just leave it. Don't push me kind of thing. Yeah, and eventually you went and sat on one of the... On one of the couches, couches so... Where you started knocking off a little bit. Yes. You were trying not to, but... Um, and I continued painting. At some point, I think I just started doing my own thing with it. I mean, I did relatively what we were supposed to do, but it's... It's an artistic venture, so you're not going to be copying her exactly. And she had like two or three different versions of what you could do, and part of it was because she didn't like some of what she had done before, so she was doing alterations to them anyway. So it's, like I said, it's an artistic venture. It's not supposed to be an exact copy. So I started doing kind of my own thing. Right. Um, good things uh, is... You are, they get two beverages. Is it two? I thought it was one. It might be two. They were offering me a second one, so. Oh, then there's uh, probably two. You get two, two beverages. Oh, man, I only got one. I know. I wasn't Shoot. feeling it for the second one anyways. I'm like, and I would have gone for a cocktail at that yeah. point. But they also had some snacky stuff, so they had some cheeses and some fruit and crackers and stuff, so that was good. And they were just, even actually when we were leaving, because we were the first ones to leave, um, I was done. Seriously. Like, I had painted my whole board. 
So there really wasn't much left for me to do, and I had futzed with it, and I'm like, if I keep futzing with this, it's not going to be any better. I could possibly make it worse. Um, so yeah, but even as we were walking out, they were like, did you want it? Do you want anything else? Did you want it? You know, so they were still offering us food because they were replenishing it because they let you eat before and while you were doing the painting if you wanted you could go up and and get some more and stuff so right it, it, it is worth your while it, it it can be very interesting very relaxing i know there i have friends who have done these like wine and paintings and or making ceramics and stuff like that so yeah i i wasn't expecting to come in with a completely <laughs> blank canvas so I, I think that what I what I've heard from other people when they do like these wine and paint <laughs> things versus what I actually saw, I'm like, yeah, because that was the thing is that yeah, you are starting from blank canvas, so you are doing your own drawing, you are doing, and you're more of an engineer. Yeah. So the artist in me just wasn't happening. I couldn't, and I was just frustrated. She did have templates. But she only had so many of those, and it took a while for, you know, just even just the tracing and to give it to somebody else. And even then, sometimes the instruction was a little, well, what do we do now? Well, you could put it here, or you could do this. So, again, she seemed nice enough. If you asked her questions or for clarification, she did, you know, try to help you in that. So, um, would you ever do this again? Maybe. It's a possibility. It's not if it was like, kind of like one of those. Hey, we have, we're there's a group of us going. Do you want to go? Or, hey, we have an extra spot. We need to fill it. But I don't think it's high up there on the priority list of. No. I need to ever ever do again. I think the experience once was good, but I don't think it's. Yeah, I, I have I, to do it. I don't do think it. I would ever do it again. It's not your thing. No. It's, it's not. not your thing, but. My, uh, oh, yeah, that was my finished product. So basically, it's supposed to be the tree of life and the reflection and the river. So. All right. Yep, that, that was my artistic endeavor. And now, back to the other videos. Yep. So we're at uh, ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex to do packet pickup for Star Wars Dark Side Weekend. Um, yeah, we finished that paint with the view thing. Well, we'll discuss on that later. Uh, but yeah, we definitely wanted to show some of this off to you guys. So this is just us coming in right now. I've got to go pick up my bib and stuff. Dark Thank you. Jen uh, needs to go get her cheer squad stuff. And then we'll wander over to the other building to do uh, a look at the stuff on the expo floor and see if I might be able to pick up maybe some salt tablets from someone that might be selling them. So once we get inside, then we go from there. Let's yeah. see what's going on. I'll actually flip this around.
can I pull out the waiver? Well, I'll pull out the waivers. So if I need, I don't think there's a pen at the stations. I'm bad at signing things ahead of time. You have a pen? Sweet. Then let's go to do your thing. How bad it looks in here today. Look at this, not bad at all. This is cakewalk compared to what it's been. Let's see, where are you? I think you're over by me. Yeah, so I'm on the other side too. Oh, 5K. Dark side challenge. See, I'm, I'm over here, so. Yeah, I'm this booth right here. You wanna hit me first or you wanna do you first? Uh, let's, we can do you first. Our home for the next couple days, next week. Why, hello. Hello. How are you? Out of focus. Oh, I'm sorry. Why okay. Are we out of focus? Okay, you're good. So, welcome to the royal room. It is one of the royal rooms, which I believe, like this building, and there's another like section that's also royal rooms. We have a garden view, which I believe he's already shown you. Um, there is a letter left by Princess Tiana. Go ahead. We'll give you a moment. You can read it. If I can focus it. Hold on. We're actually gonna switch this over so we can do this manually. So. Welcome all. We are so excited to have you stay with us. My friends and I have shared so many wonderful uh, moments. moments here that this has become a very special place in our hearts. As you make yourself at home, you'll discover some treasured mementos my friends have given me over the years. Uh, enjoy making memories with your friends and family in my royal guest room. Your friend, Princess Tiana. So, um, let's pop out here. Hold on, here. Hold on. Turning on. Is that light even on? Uh, no, it's not. Did you want me to turn it on? Yeah, because it's black. Oh, hey, look at that. Because you know what I've got issues with? Backlighting. There we go. And focusing. There we go. One. Uh, this one's a little more difficult to, for me to get to because of the luggage. Give me a moment. Here, you want to swap? No, no, I got it. That's why no creepy, ne creepy neighbors are staring. Yeah, at us. that was kind of creepy is the fact that <laughs> one of our windows looks directly out over. So I'm like, hmm, we got to make sure that thing stays closed well so, enough. So we have silhouettes of some of our princes and of course there are more on the other side of our lovely television Ooh. but uh. also look above to see some of our fancy friends who have helped some of our royalty in the past sometimes also known as faithful sidekicks 
and they just repeat after four oh, of wow. them. It's four. It's four of them, and then it repeats. Um, I'm guessing that Cinderella gave this to Princess Tiana, this lovely coat rack, which I'm utilizing, and that uh, it looks like maybe Snow White might have given this. Um, either Snow White, yes, Snow White, SW, gave this to Princess Tiana. Look at her lovely portrait. Is this lenticular? Uh, yeah. Or that very weird 3D sort of thing. All right. Um, oh, look, his and her beds. His and her beds. Um, all the royal rooms have two queen size beds. There are no king size. If you want king size beds, you have to specifically ask for king size bed. But again, those do not include the royal rooms, uh, though they do have king size uh, beds in some of their rooms. Uh, portraits of some of our royalty. <laughs> Uh, the bathroom. Ow. Not terribly exciting. Uh, interesting fun fact about the uh, refrigerator. It's hidden in here. Door opens this way, but this door opens the this other way. way. Just so you know. However, I am going to turn off. There's really nothing exciting in the bathroom. Unless you really want to see the bathroom, which you might. But I'm going to turn all these off. Ooh. There's no music, but that's okay. I'm sure it will get quite noisy and quite irritating after a while. Um, it cycles like once or twice, and then it will turn itself off. But yes, there are fancy buttons on the side, so you can have the fireworks go off over the bayou as you like. So it looks like it's a cycle of two. Um, go ahead and turn on the lights. But yeah, this is the room. This is the bath area. It has its own curtain, if you'd like. Little privacy curtain. Little courtesy curtain. So you know. Where'd you go? I'm changing here. You know, something like that. Um, Modesty, which you do not have. What about these awesome gems sitting up here? Oh. I'm not sure who would have given her those. I would think the dwarves. Um, but look, there's some other fancy friends up oh, there. More fancy friends up on. And of course, they start repeating after a while. Um, of course. Oh, hey, the obligatory can of mosquito repellent or insect repellent. Um, this is the quote unquote closet area. Comes with a room safe if you need for your valuables. Um, double sink in case you know you really need it. I know some people very much do the his hers thing. I already opened the soap and of course the bathtub shower combo. Also, this is oh, the curtain. Oh, look, gems and uh. I would say Ariel. I would say this is from Ariel. Yes. Definitely. Like how the it actually comes out from the circular. Yeah. Um, and this, too, in case you go into the pool area, has a line that extends so you can put dry it, your clothes. Dry your clothes. Um, there's some lovely, a couple little H2O products, but yeah, this is the room. Um, I like the little ottoman. ottoman. Yes. So yeah, I think that is about it. I don't know if there's anything else you folks would need to know about the room. You can let us know. Of course, by the time you let us know, we'll already be out of here, but that's a different story. Yep. But yeah. We will dig into this room as much as we can. Yeah. So hey, in the tour of our room, we totally missed looking on the floor. Because, you know, at Disney, we tend to want to look up because Disney tends to put a lot of stuff up, but every now and then we forget to look at the floor. And apparently this is what Princess Jasmine gave to Tiana. She let her borrow carpet. Apparently carpet's not going anywhere because if you noticed, two of his tassels are, are underneath, stuck underneath the, the dresser. <laughs> yeah, poor carpet. Oops. He's never going to leave. No. All right, that's it. We went downstairs to the Riverside Mill. That's what we figured out it was called and got dinner. We brought it back. It was starting to get a little crowded and noisy and just not up for those shenanigans right now. So Chris got the 
chicken breast nugget platter. I got the make your own salad with steak in it. For dessert, we're going to split a Mickey Head Rice Krispie Treat. Um, on our way back to our room, we saw a hawk and these little birds were really brave because they were kind of diving in front of it. So don't know if like they've got something going on or the hawks will eventually take them out. Who knows? Anyway, so this is dinner. I'm sure it'll be tasty. And yeah, maybe we'll see you tomorrow or maybe we'll talk about the expo a little bit. Okay, bye.